Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Bobby Yates and I'm finally over my month flu. So I would like to thank those of you who have paid for my health over the past couple of days. Let's go on with the reading, shall we? Jude 4 to me, chapter 29 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. Let us ask as people hear your word, they come to my understanding of you. Amen. These are the words of the covenant, which I already commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab. In addition to the covenant which he made with them in Arab, Moses called to all Israel and said to them, Your eyes have seen all that Yahweh did in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh, and to all his servants, and to all his land, the great trials which your eyes saw, the signs, and those great wonders. But Yahweh has not given you a heart to know, eye to see, and ears to hear, to this day. I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not grown old on you, and your shoes have not grown old on your feet. You have not eaten bread, neither have you drunk wine, or strong drink, that you may know that I am Yahweh your God. When you come to this place, Shion, the king of Hezbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us to battle, and we struck them. We took their land, and gave it for an inheritance to the Reubenites and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of the Mashanites. Therefore, keep the words of this covenant and do them, so that you may prosper in all that you do. All of you stand today in the presence of Yahweh your God, your heads, your tribes, your elders, and your officers, even all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and the foreigners who are in the middle of your camps, for the one who cuts your wood, to the one who draws your water, that you may enter into the covenant of Yahweh your God, and into his oath, which Yahweh your God makes with you today, that he may establish you today as his people, and that he may be your God, as he spoke to you, and as he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Neither do I make this covenant and this oath with you only, who are those who stand here with us today before Yahweh our God, and also with those who are not here with us today. For you know how we lived in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the middle of the nations through which you passed, and you have seen their abominations, and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them. In case there should be among you man, woman, family or tribe, whose heart turns away today from Yahweh our God, to go to serve the gods of those nations. In case there should be among you a root that produces bitter poison, and it happen, when he hears the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart, to destroy the moist with the dry. Yahweh will not pardon him, but then Yahweh's anger and his jealousy will smoke against that man. And all the curse that is written in this book will fall on him, and Yahweh will blot out his name from under the sky. Yahweh will set him apart for evil out of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that is written in this book of the law. The generation to come, your children who will rise up after you, and the foreigner who will come from of our land will say, when they see the plagues of that land, and the sickness with which Yahweh has made it sick, that all of its land is sulphur, salt, and burning, that is not sown, doesn't produce, nor does any grass grow in it, like the overthrow of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zebuhim, which Yahweh overthrew in his anger and in his wrath. Even all the nations will say, Why has Yahweh done thus to this land? What does the heat of this great anger mean? Then men will say, Because they abandoned the covenant of Yahweh, the God of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt, and when they served other gods and worshipped them, gods that they didn't know, and that he had not given to them. Therefore Yahweh's anger burned against this land, to bring on it all the curses that are written in this book. Yahweh rooted them out of their land in anger, in wrath, and in great indignation, and thrust them into another land as it is today. The secret things belong to Yahweh our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us, and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law.